Thank you. Hey, Sean, how are you? Good, how are you? Good, good. Uh, last summer, you were talking about throwing the ball with Liam, trying to keep each other sharp during the pandemic. What's it like to be doing that now on the Penn State practice field? And what are your expectations for what your brother can accomplish in his first year? Yeah, no, it's a lifelong dream. I mean, this, this is what we always wanted to do. We've always wanted to play on the same team together and to be able to do it now, um, you know, at a place that's so close and dear to my heart, um, so close and dear to my family. Uh, just to have Liam here now, it's, I mean, it's a family affair now. It, it really is. It's a, the Clifford brothers are here to stay. So it's a, it's a lot of fun. Um, you know, I've always wanted to play with him and to be able to do it now at Penn State's it's a blessing to say the least and always appreciative of the opportunity that we both have and um for his you know for this for this year for him you know it's you know he's he's my teammate now so he's got to work um he's definitely doing a good job you know all the wide receivers are doing a good job but you know it's it's different when it's your brother sometimes but at the same time you know i come in and treat him the same as any other player um in the facility so yeah he's just working hard like everybody else we go to nate bauer audrey you're on deck Hey, Sean. Um, everybody else in the room is... You look like you're cooling right now. You Dude, look I'm, like you're having the best time. I'm, I'm, chilling, I'm chilling on the porch. You look like you're having a great time. Dude, it's... Well, not yet. That's... Anyway. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, everybody else in the room is comparatively younger than you, obviously. What, what kind of a role do you see for yourself... Um, in conjunction with those other guys, how do you, how do you lead and uh, what kind of a role do you see for yourself there? Yeah. I mean, I've never thought of it as like age as being a difference, you know, everybody's my teammate, you know, I guess the, the difference in age is the, the things outside of football, like what people are into TikTok and all that stuff that I just, you know, I just feel old, but at the same time, you know, when we're in the facility, I just try to be a, you know, I have a lot of wisdom. I've, I've, I've played a lot of snaps here, so I've seen a lot of looks and, um, you know, just played a lot of football and, and seen a lot of tape, done a lot of research on it. So I, I feel like I have a pretty good grasp of everything. So it's just giving my knowledge to the other guys in the room. Um, you know, we got some really, really smart guys with Take One, you know, CV and, and Mason. So, you know, it's a, it's a group of hard workers. It's easy for me as a, as a leader to, to – lead them because they're more than willing to work um so yeah it's it's it's, it's a pretty easy job for me honestly Good, Audrey. hey sean how you doing how are you i'm good thanks um uh, two things from me um i haven't gotten a chance to ask you yet i asked coach franklin about the vaccination rate on the team uh he said you guys are doing better as a team there um, are you vaccinated if you're comfortable sharing? And then I also got a football question for you. Yeah, no, I, I, I'd rather just keep medical records out of it. But, um, no, I'm proud of how, where our team is at currently. Okay, and for the the football part of it, um, it and why, uh, with everything you do, what's that communication like? Is it something as simple as saying, hey, here's why I threw the ball there because of X or whatever? Like, how, how does that work? It really is that simple. Like he just wants to know what you're doing, um, what you're what you're doing, and what you're seeing on each play. So if you literally said, like today there was there was one play, and he said, "Why did you throw it to the the H?" and I was like, "Cause I didn't see him. I couldn't find him." And so like it's it's literally just as simple as that. Sometimes where it's what did you see? What what were you looking at? Um, you know what happened? Because sometimes you know when you're a coach, obviously or when I'm out out of the rep and take ones in or CVs in, you know things happen within the the play that you know you might not feel out when you're just watching. So he really just wants to to get inside our head, make sure that you know what we're seeing is correct, and then what we're seeing you know translate to production. And I think that he does a really good job of it. Um, really pushes us to 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 go a step beyond what we're capable of doing, and then break that ceiling again. Um, and, you know, I've really appreciated his leadership and, and how hard he's pushed me so far and, and the whole unit. We'll go to Allie Baruby next. Hey, Sean, how's it going? Good, how are you? Good. You, you kind of light up there when you talk about your such, uh, maybe in a way that um, I haven't seen in, in the few years. Like, 
Is there a comfort level there now already that, that you've built over camp? Do you feel a difference? Are you maybe a different quarterback under him? How, how do you look at that relationship? Um, I definitely feel like I'm playing at a pretty high level. Um, and he's brought a lot of good out of me. Um, things that I've never, you know, thought I could do. He's given me a lot of, um, uh, what's the word? I guess opportunities and, and given me a lot of um, chances to, to prove to him that, you know, he can trust me and, and changing plays and making protection calls and, and, and putting us in the right, you know, play, whatever it is. And, and I feel like I've done that so far. And, and he's, you know, been happy with how I've been progressing. Um, you know, he says it all the time, though, you can't be you can't be OK with where you're at. So, I mean, I'll never be satisfied with where I'm at. Obviously, you know, we're only five practices is in the to fall camp so this is just the beginning um you know i'm trying to break my ceiling and go even higher each and every day and uh you know bring the the unit along as well i think that we're doing really good things right now but you know it's only day day five of camp practice five of camp so we are not even close to where we need to be um but we'll be there when we when we when we when we get there so i'm confident of that and jones you're up next I have the power to unmute myself. That's exciting. How's it going, Sean? Good of you, Ben. Good, good. I'm curious, over the course of your career, just for as long as you've played football, how many different ways have you been taught to do the same sorts of things? I mean, when someone tells you how to do footwork or someone tells you how to release, I mean, how much do you get taught six different ways to do the exact same thing playing football? Um, It really depends on what's going on. Um, you know, there's definitely a lot of different ways to play football. And I've learned from now four coaches in college how to play football different ways. Um, you know, I, I've appreciated all the all the coaches that have come and come through Penn State. You know, I've learned a lot from them. I've taken what I've, I've you know, the good and the bad um, and, and learned from it. And I feel like, you know, Coach Ursich is, is definitely bringing a new – a new – player a new he's, he's he's definitely just pushing me i guess the best way to say it to a new level um and he's making me a better version of sean clifford that i feel like you know the team's happy to see and i'm i'm, I'm happy to see myself and um you know but like i said earlier you just can't get complacent it's it's day five it's practice five at camp so this is just the beginning um and i just can't wait to you know for tomorrow practice six because that's really all that matters Good time for a couple more. We'll go to David Melander next. Hey, Sean, two-part question for you. One, can you just talk about what you took away from last season and the, the things you learned in the offseason about what you did last year? And secondly, how does it feel now you get to be back in front of a sold-out stadium this upcoming season? Yeah, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I I will not be talking about last season anymore. Um, I appreciate the question, but I won't. It's 2021, so we're going to move on. And um, I don't even know what the second question was. So can you second repeat it? The second question was, uh, how does it feel now to be playing in front of a sold-out stadium? Uh, really good. Um, happy to have everybody back. Uh, really excited to have everybody back. You know, that was one of the things that I missed. And just can't wait to see everybody um, and just feel the excitement. I mean, I came to Penn State to play in front of 107,000, and I expect 110 for a lot of the games when we get there. So um, I'm just excited to, to, to travel, go on the road, see everybody, uh, you know, just every game, excited, excited to have our fans back. And we'll finish up with Alexis Yoder. Hi, Sean. Uh, regarding the new era in college sports with NIL, why is it important for you to do deals personally for yourself, like your T-shirt at McClanahan's, but – also with some of your teammates like you and the offensive linemen did at the field. Why is all that so important to you? And what have you learned from it so far? Yeah, I think that there's a there's definitely an importance of branding and, and that wasn't able to be to happen before um, this year, just solely because of the rules in place. But I think that, you know, the NCA and you know the commissioner has done a really good job of allowing us now to use our name name, image, and likeness to to, to better ourselves, to do what we want to do when it comes to being an entrepreneur um, and just putting ourselves in a better position 
Um, you know, if I wanted to take my offense line out last year, I would have had to buy them all food out of out of my stipend money, which, to be honest with you, hurt a lot if I wanted to do that. So uh, to be able to do something like that, you know, partner with the field with with that um, and, and be able to, to just give them food on a week to week basis, you know, that's that was I, right when it happened. I, I, I've been looking for places uh, for a while to, to, to figure out how to get them their meals but uh yeah the field is, the field is definitely the spot um and i'm excited to to you know just explore all the the other possibilities with nil because you know the possibilities are kind of endless